learn about how to change the subject of a formula. Subject of a formula is a variable or letter uh, written in formula that stand on its own. As you can see in the example below, x is equal to 5t minus 4. You can see the x here. This x is the subject. Same way, p is equal to sum of length breadth, uh, and breadth times 2. The, so the p is the subject of the formula. So what we will learn now, how can we change the existing subject? We don't want this anymore. And let's say we want t as the subject of the formula. Or let's say here I'm saying we want l as the subject of the formula instead of p. So I want l here and the rest of the formula here. How can we convert the formula in such a way that we can change the existing subject Okay, so we can do it by rearranging the formula. We have to rearrange our formula. To do the rearranging, you must have the prior knowledge of solving one step and two step equations. Okay, so if you don't know how to solve one step and two step equations, you can see the other video. You can find the link here. Okay, now let's do some examples and let's see how we change subject of any formula. Okay. So if you'll see here, t is equal to m minus 3, and we have to make m the subject of our formula. Okay, So we have to isolate our m, like, like equations. In equations, we usually isolate x. We have to make x alone same thing. We have to isolate our m, and whatever is extra with m, we have to remove it. So right now, I can see I have a negative 3. To cancel this negative 3, I have to do the opposite of it, positive 3 but because there is an equal sign I have to do the same thing on both sides so 3 and 3 will cancel each other and it's just m on this side and here we have t plus 3 so it's better if you bring m on the left hand side so m is equal to t plus 3 in here now m is the subject of our formula let's see another question express t in terms of p or this is another way of saying uh, make t the subject of the formula so i can see here we have t and as you as i told you already you have to isolate the t whatever is extra with t you have to throw it on the other side so right now t is multiplying with 4 to cancel times 4 you have to do the opposite of it you have to divide it by 4 and because it's an it's an equation you have to do the same thing on the other side so 4 divided by 4 is gone, it's just a 1, so it's just a t equal to p over 4. Or you can say t is equal to p over 4. Let's see another example. Make L the subject of the formula. p is equal to 2L plus 2W. Okay, so let's throw things away one by one. First, I will throw this plus plus 2W. So to take this away, I have to do minus 2W on both sides. So this is gone. 2L, I write 2L on the left side from now, is P minus 2W, right? Now I have a 2 extra with L, so 2 is multiplying with L. The opposite is divide, cancel, divide the whole P minus 2W. You're dividing the whole thing. So now the L is P minus 2w divided by 2. Let's see another example. Make p the subject of the formula. I can see p here. First of all, I'll remove the 2. So minus 2, minus 2. I'll write p square this side now. p square is this 2 and 2 cancel each other. Now we have m minus 2. Now I have to remove the square. When we remove square, how can we remove square? We remove square by doing the square root. I'll do the square root on both sides. Because square root of p square is p. So p now is equal to square root of m minus 2. Uh, if you're wondering how can I put square root on p square and it comes out as p. So you see square root of p square is actually p times p. And 1p comes out like square root of 25 is 5 times 5 and the answer is a whole 5 you understand this is how square root of p square is p so I did square root on both sides 
Okay, so let's see another example now. Make D the subject of the formula. Here, A is equal to quarter of P times D square. So let's remove stuff with with the D with the D here. Let's root, remove whatever values we have with D. Remove them one by one. First, I'll remove this this quarter. So this quarter is multiplying here. When I will remove this quarter, it will go to the other side and divide. So divide by 1 over 4, divide by 1 over 4. This 1 over 4 and 1 over 4 cancel each other. So on this side, we just have pi d square. This side, we have a divide by 1 over 4. OK. So you remember KFC, keep, flip, and change. So a stays same. We change division to multiplication and fraction flips itself. So let's see. So it will become a times 4 over 1. So pi d square is equal to a times 4 is 4a because the denominator of 1 has no value. Now we have to make d the subject. So I'll remove pi. Pi is multiplying with d. So I'll divide by pi, divide by pi. So this pi is gone. Now I have d square is equal to 4a over pi. Now you remember what we did in the last question. To remove the square root, I'll do the to remove the square, sorry, I'll do the square root on both sides. So now d, because square root of d square is d, is equal to is equal to square root of 4a over pi. And uh, we can do one more thing with this one because 4 is actually 2 times 2. 4 is a perfect square number. So 2 can come out of it and then a inside over pi. 2 times a over pi. Okay, let's do the, I think, last example. So k is equal to 2p squared, make p the subject of the formula. As you know, first we will remove we will remove this 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2, 2 cancel 2. p squared is equal to k over 2. Now we have to remove the square from p. You all know it, square root, square root. So p is square root of k over 2. Two. This is how we uh, rearrange the formulas to change the subject of the formula. I hope this video is of help to you and have a nice day.